all right welcome back to our c plus plus programming for beginners tutorial this is our second tutorial and in this second tutorial we want to learn how to set up for c plus plus programming and so we are going to do some installation of the tools and programs we will be needing to be able to program c plus plus on our windows computer this setup is going to be done for windows and so if you are a windows user let's get right into it so in this setup we are going to be downloading and installing a number of things the first thing is to download what we call a c++ compiler we are going to download a c++ compiler and the question is what is a compiler a compiler is a tool that converts c++ language into machine language Remember, computers only understand one language, and that is machine language. This machine language is known as binary, and computers only understand binary. Today, we have a lot of programming languages like Java, C, C Sharp, C++, PHP, Python, you name it. But all these languages are able to communicate with our machines because we have compilers that will compile their code into machine code. Computers do not understand C++, computers do not understand Java or any other programming language out there. Computers only understand machine code or machine language, which is binary, which is also what we call ones and zeros. And so without a compiler, your program cannot run on any machine. And so when you write a code, you run with a compiler. All right, so the compiler we are going to download is called main GW C++ compiler. And this compiler is a very popular compiler for C++. And that is what we are going to look for, download and install. And after that, we are going to download our code editor. And we are going to use a code editor called Visual Studio Code. We have a bigger program called Visual Studio that we can use, but to make things very simple, we are going to download a lighter program called Visual Studio Code. When you look on my PC, you can see that I have Visual Studio here, and I also have Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a light program, and that is what we are going to be using. And so we'll download it at this link right here. And install it after that the third thing to do for our setup to be complete is to configure Visual Studio code for C++ so without much ado let's get right into it if you have any browser just open it and let's get started this is my Google Chrome right here and we are going to look for the compiler first so let's go online and search for our compiler Remember, our compiler is called main GW C++ compiler. And I want you to add SourceForge to your search because we want to download from SourceForge. We want to download from SourceForge. There are several places to download this, but one reliable place we can get it right without wasting time is to download from SourceForge so when you type this just add SourceForge to your search query hit enter and we are going to see it right here so over here we have our main GW and main GW stands for minimalist GNU for Windows so main GW this is what it means if you are wondering what main GW means it means minimalist GNU for Windows. So that is what we are going to download. So just click on this link on sourceforge.net. Click and we will get into it. All right. So once you get onto the SourceForge page, you are almost there. We have to do the download. But remember the installation is quite a lengthy process but let's get into it so just click on download and you will have a very light weight file download your download will start shortly in some few seconds the download should begin right here and 
voila the download has started and it's done so this is a very very simple file it has downloaded right here main gw get setup.exe so this is what we are going to do to continue our installation remember this is not the full package of the main gw tool we are looking for this is just a light program that will just begin the installation process and so when you start installing this you are going to be doing a lot of downloads a lot of extractions and a lot of installations so just keep your computer still connected to the internet until the download process is fully completed all right so just click here and select show in folder and it's going to show you where the file is all right so i have my file right here in my downloads folder you can see here main gw get setup dot exe so this is a file we are going to use for installation and remember you still need to be connected online to be able to complete the installation so let's get started double click on it and it's going to open this window let me minimize every other thing here all right so this window is going to open main gw installation manager setup tool all you have to do is to click on install and over here make sure you are comfortable with the directory where the installation is going to be done in mine is going to be installed in drive c slash main gw and i think this is very okay for all of you so just leave it as it is and click continue so you click continue and you have to wait for this process to complete it's going to do a lot of downloads in the background and a lot of installation in the background and this is just step one we are going to go through step one two and three and after that the installation will be completed and it's going to take you about 10 minutes to get this done so i will just fast forward the process so that we don't waste too much time over here all right so now that the first part of this installation is almost complete your continue button will be activated so all you have to do is to click continue and you continue to the second phase so this is the second phase right here and in the second phase let me maximize this you are going to get a window like this with a basic setup and all packages just stick to the basic setup and you have some packages here to select what we really need is the GNU C++ compiler but then there are other packages here that we may need so to make everything simple for you just activate everything here they are not much all you have to do is to click and select mark for installation and make sure you do for all of them so click and mark for installation click mark for installation click mark for installation so i have done it for all of them and i'm ready to install this is a main installation and this should take you about five to eight minutes to be done after checking all of them all you have to do is to come up here and click installation and apply changes so click apply changes and continue with the second phase all right so here i'll click apply and the process will begin remember this is going to take some time so i'm just going to fast forward the process so that we don't waste too much time here all right friends it seems our second phase is complete it says that all changes were applied successfully you may now close this dialog so you click on close and you move on to the third and final phase so let's click on close and it seems like our second phase is complete remember we are not yet done with the installation don't worry about how long it is taking this is what you have to do to be able to install a compiler on your machine for C++. So now we can close this program and 
get to the final phase of the installation. So close this program and just follow with me. Open to drive C on your computer and locate the main GW folder. So you open to your drive C and you locate your main GW folder. You can go to this PC, go to local disk C or whatever C you have and locate this folder right here and open it. When you open it, you see several subfolders here. Make sure you open the one called bin. Double click on this to open and bin will open all the files that come with the installation. Now, what we really need is a path to the bin folder and what we have to do is to attach the path of this bin directory to our command prompt so this is very important come to this address bar here make sure you are not clicking on any of the directories just come to an empty space and click and you are going to see the path in this form you are going to see c column slash main jw slash bin this is what you need so just right click on this and copy when you copy this then you are You've done the right thing so let's continue after copying go back to this pc locate this pc and click on it and this is where we are going to work on our final stage of the installation in this pc don't click on any drive don't click on any folder just find an empty space out here and right click and select properties so when you select properties, you are going to see the properties of your PC and come to the left panel right here and look for advanced system settings. So click on advanced system settings and the dialog box will open like this. And under the system properties dialog box, come down here and look for environment variables. Environment variables. This is what we are looking for. So click on environment variables and you'll see something like this. Over here, you are looking for path. You are looking for path. Click on path. you find path here. Click on path and come and click on edit. So path, edit. Now under edit path, don't worry about whatever you see here. Just click on new and over here, paste what you copied right here the path for the main gw just paste it here and just click outside and come here and click ok if you can do this then you have successfully installed the c++ compiler on your computer now to test this compiler let's do something simple let's um, just click on start and just type cmd and you see right here command prompt so click on your command prompt to open it and this is my command prompt to be able to test whether our compiler is well installed this is the command you put here type g plus plus space dash dash version and hit enter g plus plus space dash dash version and hit enter when you hit enter and you see something like this g plus plus something like this built by main gw project then voila your installation is fully complete your installation is fully complete and you have a compiler running on your computer so this is a process of the installation of the C++ compiler and so we are done with stage one